Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Pen That Palette for 2019 ABH Subculture. I've done really well this month. I, I am shocked, I am surprised, I am happy, and I think I'm totally on track to completely finish this palette up. I don't want to jinx anything, but I, th I, think, I, think it's, I think we're going to do it. I have hit pan in a new shade. And I am very close to finishing up two more shades. So before I bring you in on this update, which is going to include tutorials for two of my favorite looks that I have been doing with this palette towards the end of the video, let's jump in to my progress through all of my past updates. <music> And this is my palette now. Guys, look, this is this is crazy. The amount of progress, I am shocked. I'm so happy and surprised. So first of all, I hit pan in All Star. Look at that. It's a cute little baby pan, but it is pan. I have also expanded the pan and hit pan on the top of both Mercury and Edge. Edge is gonna be gone by the next update. And you know what? I think Mercury will too because I've been using Mercury in my brows every day and it's gotten me through that shade so fast, which is awesome. It's also why I filmed two looks for this video, namely using Edge. So I filmed my favorite kind of light look and then I filmed my favorite look with All Star and with Roxy. Um, I didn't want to film the look with... Um, fudge and with adorn just because i've got a lot of both of those shades left so if you guys want to see that one i can include that look in next month's update um, but since i'm so close to finishing up edge like this is my only chance to film <laughs> before i actually finish that shade i've also expanded the pan a little bit in adorn um a little bit in destiny it does look a little bit bigger and in new wave i'm actually pretty close to hitting like the top of the pan in new wave i'm so excited <laughs> and i know i said i have been struggling a bit with using the two darker shades axis and untamed well today i am wearing untamed on my eyes i did just a little bit on like the kind of the outer corner and then all over my lid i did use a color pop super shock shadow I think it's a little dark for work, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go to work and we're gonna see what anyone says. I don't go to work with black lipstick. <laughs> this does come off before I actually leave for work, but I, I was feeling, I was feeling the look. Just leave the shirt. Isn't the shirt so cute? Okay, anyway, we are getting off topic. So I, I'm, I'm just so happy with the way that I've been able to come so far. I can say that for a fact, Edge will be gone by the next update. I really want to use up Mercury, and after Mercury is gone, I will be using another shade for my eyebrows. I really want to use, I think the next one is going to be Fudge. Just that deep brown I'm going to be using in my brows, and then hopefully we can move through Fudge fairly quickly from there. Untamed, I actually like how this look came out. This is something I would definitely wear more often. Uh, but maybe different shimmers, maybe not as much. It does look a little patchy though, I have noticed. I did pack this on and then blend it out just a little bit. I didn't use any other sh matte shades in this look other than Untamed. So uh, I'll just work with the patchiness on that. I'll also try to use it more as a liner along with Axis. I think Axis is like the only shade that like you can't tell whether or not I've used it because odds are... I think I've touched it like twice. <laughs> my favorite fall look has been with Roxy and All Star, which is why I was able to hit pan in All Star. It's just the perfect deep cranberry look. And if you use a light shimmer all over your lid, it's not too dark and it looks really pretty. So I've been wearing that almost every day 
for at least a week. I remember there was a week where I just did that look like every day and it was awesome. <laughs> and I'll show you how to do that look in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump into some of my favorite looks using subculture over the past month.
All right, so those are the two looks. This is my update. I'm very happy with where I am right now. I think, I think we're in a good place honestly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to catch the rest of my updates. It's October, so we really only have two more updates. <sighs> I just realized that. Oh. Oof. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.